com a paz do greet the beloved church with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to invite uh, brethren to stand up so we can read the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is in the letters to the Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 6, Hebrews 6, verse 9. We can hear well. I'll speak a little louder. Hebrews 6. Verse 9. Have everyone found? Amen. The word the, of the Lord said the following. But beloved, we are confident of better things concerning you. Yes, things that accompany salvation. Though we speak in this manner, Let us repeat together. But, beloved, we are confident of better things concerning you. Yes, things that accompany salvation, though we speak in this manner. Lord, we want to praise your name. Yes, Lord, speak to our hearts through your word. Bring a blessing to us. We pray in the name of Jesus. The church may be seated, my brother. In the letter to Hebrews, it was registered. that, my brethren, we see today the situation in which the world in which you live is found. The world has its path already traced, chosen by those who have already decided And the world as well, since the day it was created, has its own path. The word uh, states that to us. And the, the tra translation we have here, not the translation we have here, but the original that begins in the book of Genesis, says that book was created in order to exist for a certain period of time. When you summarizing it, the world was created with a, a date of expiration. The God Bereshiba, he got created for the world to exist for a period of time. That's what the original in Hebrew says. But the word, it registers through God's servants that God has, he expects something from us. And God, what God expects from us is not in the world that was created. He's not in the animals in the fish, in the seas. What God expects, God expects great things on his jewel of creation. God has expects great things for man. But the word of the Lord says that God forms man 
and God blows in the man's nostrils, and man becomes a living soul. And we understand through the word of the Lord that everything will pass. In the letter of Paul, it says that、uh, Peter. I'm sorry, the letter of Peter it says that this land will, the earth, the elements that are in, in it will burn in fire. They will be consumed. That says the word of the Lord, and Paul registers here in this text. He said, "But beloved, we are confident of better things concerning you." The Lord places on man's creation the greatest hopes. And God prepares all things for this. God treats treats men in a different way, especially with first man, Adam. God made resources available to men. God also made resource available to you, my brother and sister, in order for you to be with Him. And this is what is to、uh, produce means in order for you to achieve eternity. And when Paul says. He had registered in the letters to the Hebrews. He said that we we expect better things and things concerning salvation. It's because the Lord has this hope in us, made available to us what was the best. God picked up the best resources that was available to us in order for us to achieve eternity. And sends it so that man would have the opportunity to be with God, with the Lord. And that greatest resource was sending the Lord Jesus. What get, what God had, what which was the most precious in eternity, He picks it up and sends it. So that we would have the opportunity of have the heavenly citizenship. See, my brethren, how much God expected from men. The size of the resource that God made available to men, and when Paul says that.、Uh, He is confident of better things concerning you. Is that the Lord is expects us to use those res this resource, so that we may not seek resource. There is no resource that will bring us to salvation. Things that accompany salvation. Those were very special resources. The best that God had when God was with Ben, He gave all the instruction, all the direction necessary. God not only spoke to men, but practicing with men. The Lord Jesus taught us how to pray, didn't He? 
he taught us on how to fast. The Lord Jesus taught us how to fast. The Lord Jesus also taught us on how to seek the Lord. He taught us on how to have mercy. You want to see my brethren? The woman that was brought to him by the religions into Jesus' presence. They said, we caught this woman sinning. The law of Moses says that she, she, she should be killed and in that way stoned. And you, what do you say? We know the answer from Jesus, right? The Lord Jesus. Resources. Wisdom. So that that woman will be able to reach salvation. Brethren, the Lord has made available to us amazing resources. Early dawn services. praises, adorations. Paul and Silas, when we they were imprisoned, the word says that they praised and the Lord and the foundation of the prison shook up and moves. And it, when it's written in the word, it, this information regarding uh, by Apostle Paul, it is left there so that we may pay attention and realize how we are seeking the Lord. What type of resources are we getting a hold of in order to be able to come closer to the Lord? We see how the world behaves. We see how a few groups behave. We're not worried about group A, group C, or B, but we see. The Lord has given us understanding, has shown to us, and we need to use the resources, but resources that are not just, just about any other resource. We can find out there. There's resources, uh, things that accompany salvation because we are going towards eternity. It was not by chance or by accident. Or just a situation of chance that the Lord placed what was the best at our. Uh, reach so that the Lord expects that in the Church of Pompa there we would have the best women servants and the best men serving the Lord, the best instrumentalists. We are um, using the Church of Pompa as an example because we are here, but those who seek the Lord, the Lord expect from us always a little bit more. Look, the Lord looks down from eternity and says, oh, I think that Ivan is going to go on a, to an early dawn service today. I'm going to wait so that I can have a conversation with Ivan. God expects that from us. He wants to hear our voice. Why? <coughs> because I had given us the best the best resource. But are we like that? Many of us work. A few of us are um, chiefs of um, uh, businesses and hire people. And many times we look and see a professional that stands out compared to other. 
And if you have a better professional, it is natural that you will uh, expect greater things from that person and that you may even give better tools for that person so that the job would end up being better performed. And that's how we are. Answer to what God expects from us, he, God gives us a better resource. God answers. God gives a feedback with a better resource. It is very natural in our midst as a church. The Lord said, Have you seen that brother? How God has blessed him? Have you seen that sister? Many times you make comments with one another. Oh God, how God uses that person so much. And we end up talking to one another. It's not for anybody's vanity, but it's to praise the, the, the Lord. Have you seen my servant Job? Jesus, uh, God said it himself. That's how God makes remarks regarding us. God sometimes says, I was very pleased with my servant and how he has behaved. I spoke to my servant, the, this early dawn service, with uh, a child. I heard the, the prayer of my child that prayed here. The Lord keeps waiting, my brother. Every day, And he expects great things for, from us so that we may be every day a little better a little better and the Lord observes us in the same way he observed David like he said I found David as my servant according to my own heart that will do all my will that's what God spoke about David. The Lord is pleased with this. And we, as well as with this intimacy, with these resources that the Lord has given us, when we are able to use this resource as well as servants that have been approved by God as citizens of heaven we, we are, feel better we feel greater joy we feel good about it oh Lord gave me a great victory today but this victory doesn't come just uh, in an easy way sometimes it comes from a prayer from a fasting from early dawn and we come to church happy when we come in early dawn and we see the brethren and we seek the Lord together and we glorify the Lord, clean up a bench, clean up the location here and we go back home or to work with an immense joy. The brethren that participate, they know this. Our day it gets better. Isn't it true? It gets better, right? It gets much better. It gets much better. We live glorifying the Lord because we were able to get into this place. Well, I'm going to ask you, how days doesn't it get better when we get up early and we are able to go to the church? When we get up early, I feel, we feel better because God awoke us. Or when we wake up with a dream to bring to the church, we'll bring this dream and tell the pastor, Pastor, I had a dream last this night. And we sit down, you sit down there, nobody knows. And the pastor brings the message. And then you tell yourself, look, there is a dream. And the Lord has used you. And you will feel better. Your day will be better. You feel better. My brother, we need to seek the Lord. 
and seek the Lord with the resources that God has already given us. We don't need any resource. We don't need to come up with anything. Come up with any invention. Oh no, we need to do this or that. No. No, no. We need to go to do this or take two steps to the left or to the right. No. The Lord has already given us the resource. Everything is ready. Everything is ready. We need to just to multiply this and to say, look, God has given me a blessing and He can give a blessing to you as well. Look, God has improved my day today. These are simple th things. We are in a month where we pray for our co-workers. Go there and speak to your co-worker. Should I speak with that person? God expecting you to speak with your co-worker. God is waiting for you to speak with your co-worker. That you tell him or her what God has been doing in your life. And say, look, do you also want to have this? You want to have to know the salvation. You want to resolve a situation. Come here and see what God has done for me. I'm going to show you people, a different people. That's what you're going to say to your co-worker. But you say, oh, I don't work. So then speak with your neighbor. Call to the reason that you used to work for. Oh, you're still there? You, you have not retired yet? Tell him or her. Tell the person, I'm happy today because God told me to call you. Pray to the Lord before and you see the Lord operating. There is a pastor friend of mine and he, he said that every day he would come down in the elevator at home going towards the church. He was from Minas. I'm from Rio de Janeiro, but he was from Minas. He was a pastor in Rio. And he said he would come down afraid. And he would come down in the elevator with this guy, very big. He would come down in the corner of the elevator with a Bible. And one day the Lord told him to invite that big guy so that he would receive a blessing. <coughs> but then I, he said, I spoke to the Lord. Lord, have you seen the size of that man? He's huge. But he said, on the early dawn, he knelt down, he prayed to the Lord, he sought the Lord. He has consecrated fasting because the Lord has told him to invite a person. And when he entered into the elevator, he said he was choosing a corner to fall. <laughs> because he was going to say about the Lord to him, but this man, if he slap me, I'm just going to choose a corner to fall down. The elevator is not very big, but so then he was telling us, and he said that he has invited that large man, and the the man, strong man, he that began again to weep there. He said, "I've been waiting for so long. I was waiting for you to invite me to this church, and you never invited me. I'll go. I want to go." I wanted to be on the service very much. I always saw you with a vibe in your hand. But you never invited me. That man wept with him in the elevator. My brethren, my brethren, resources that follow salvation. You want to have this experience with the Lord? Pray to the Lord. Yo, your co worker is difficult to come. Pray to the Lord. Seek the Lord. And at the end of the month, on Sunday, whenever you have a chance, invite a person. But before, pray for him. 
for her or for her. Because this, this is a resource that God gave you. If the Lord speaks to your heart, fast for that person. Fast. The word says that the angels, they wanted to do what God gave us to do. Imagine my brethren, if the angels came down here to invite people to go to eternity. Imagine. Can you imagine how it would be? Just a little bit. I bet you say that it would be much better than us. <laughs> but it was not attributed uh, that role to them. It was it was attributed to men to speak this honor so that men would improve, so that men would testify of salvation to the person that that man was inviting. So that the person will be able to be reached. Uh, those things that accompany salvation. My brethren, this is the message that the Lord has for us tonight. And then you, you're going to bring it to your heart, to your home. Then ask yourself how you can be better. Better for yourself or for your neighbor? Yes. That too, but but also how you can be a better citizen of eternity because we are going there. There's no sense for us to be here in the church if we don't believe in this. How many here not to remain here? They need to have a permission to be here, a green card. If you but you but you have you got a green card to live in eternity. You just need to maintain it. How are we going to maintain this green card? It's having a green card. I don't understand much about this, but I believe that a person that has a permit to be here has to stay here longer than outside. Whoever has a green card has to be here a longer time than outside of the country. We need to be more in the presence of the Lord than outside of it. Otherwise, how can you be a citizen of heaven if you don't? If you live in a place, you need to be closer to your dwelling than outside of it. That's how it is, isn't it? You need to be closer to eternity, closer to our king, right? To the one that gives us guide, guidance, that gives us the resources. Lord, I have a little resource, then you go there and ask. And that's what is interesting is that it is not like we know. No, we have direct access to the Lord. We don't have to schedule a time to speak with the Lord. We can close to the Lord at this moment. We can tell our necessity to the Lord right now and use this resource that we have in order to reach salvation. Amen? Let's praise in the name of the Lord.
uma palavra de glorificação ao Senhor. Lord, at this moment, glorify your name. Reward. They spoke to our hearts. Lord, we praise you. Because this song was given to our people so that we may be doing this work. I think because we already have our salvation to you. Because we know that in breve nós estaremos com o nosso Deus na eternidade. Nós te louvamos, meu Deus, porque os dias, Senhor, estão se passando. Senhor, as lutas, meu Deus, quantas coisas têm vindo sobre as famílias, quantas enfermidades, quanta prova, mas o Senhor tem os feitos vencedores. A cada dia nós temos um Deus que tem cuidado das nossas vidas, tem cuidado dos nossos, tem nos alertado, Senhor, a cada dia. Nós te louvamos, te bendizemos pela tua palavra, meu Deus, porque é bom estar na tua casa mais uma vez. Louvado seja o teu nome por ouvir a tua voz falando ao profundo dos nossos corações nesta noite. Te louvamos por tudo, Senhor, em nome de Jesus. Glória a Deus. Meu irmão, o Senhor nos mostrou em uma situação de homem. O Senhor nos mostrou em uma situação de homem que entrou aqui hoje noite. And uh, something in his life. A comunhão dele com o Senhor. E ele tem tido muita dificuldade em ter comunhão com Deus. E ele tenta, da sua forma, do seu jeito, é, com pensamentos. He talks and, and things, but things for this life. The Lord has shown that the only way for you to have fellowship with the Lord is by seeking the means of grace. The, the message that was given here, the fellowship, the prayer, fasting, early dawn, the reading of the word of the Lord. Because what you need here in order to resolve this, your situation, your life, is your revelation from God. Amen? Because if you seek the Lord in any other way, with you, those are resources for this life, that it's fleeting, that it perishes. It doesn't work. But what does he mean? Let me be my clear, more clear. But people think that helping your neighbor, being, being a good man, being a good citizen, being a good father, that you will bring that person to heaven. All of this, it is an obligation that we all have. You cannot get confused with things. Being a good man, be a good uh, employee, being a respectful man, paying your taxes, paying this, paying that. This is our obligation as citizens. But in order for you to receive from the Lord the direction from God, in order for you to have fellowship with God, you need to live your life based on the Bible, on the Word. Because if you give worth to the Word of God, the living Word, you will have the revelation from God that is going to show you, that will direct you, that will cause you to please God. Amen? There are different ways, but it is difficult. You will end up hurting yourself, being frustrated, disappointed with religion, disappointed with man. But seek the Lord, and God will re reveal Himself to you. The Lord also has shown a man this is valid for us as well. Sometimes we want to do things according to our own will, our own way, and we end up not being able to reach what we was were expecting. And the, the word says that the Lord expects the best from us. In order for us to please the Lord and reach what God wants us to reach is to live in the word. Amen. Let's pray, finishing, bring this after close. Lord God, we like to ask the Lord ask, Lord, that you teach us how to better serve you. Remove any impediment, any obstacle, anything that, Lord, breaks the fellowship with, of your servants, of our lives. We ask that you may give us authority to defeat, to overcome everything that is, comes from men and 
so that we may keep looking only to you, Lord. Give us this means, Lord, so that we may be faithful to you in every instant. Receive our service and our adoration. Is the prayer that we say in the name of Jesus. Amen. In your name we say the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender with the Holy Spirit be poured out upon all of us now and forevermore. Amen. The church parties may sit down. Any a message? The brethren need to be praying for the family of Pastor Umberto. Umberto. Who knows Pastor Umberto? Pastor Umberto is a pastor that lives in Washington. And that recently he lost his wife. And we're going to have a service Thursday in the city of Washington. Service. So, so pray for the family, with him, for the children, um, daughter-in-laws, and his grandchildren, so that the Lord may bring the comfort to our partner, for brother. And I say the peace of the Lord to everyone.